this his and hers bath may end up more his than hers. People ask me, why do you want a urinal? And my response is, why not? All the women seem to be asking me if I'm really okay with this. Wow. Will she take this and sitting down? Really like Find out next. While the crew deals with the mold issue, Ben heads off with Cindy in search of just the right custom sink. We talked about a specialty sink that was, you know, a, a trough. Okay. These are a few of the colors that I pulled because you had told me that you wanted some natural tones. Probably we should pick up a color maybe on the lighter side as well as the darker side. If you would let us take a couple samples back to the house. Sure. And just put them up against the wall and see what we think. While we're here, we've got this piece of corrugated that we talked about for your tub. I actually absolutely love the corrugated piece. I think it's going to be a neat piece of texture in the bathroom, and uh, Suze will be thrilled. Let me show a couple of sinks that we've got back here. This is called our illusion sink, and there's not a visible drain. It drains to the slot in the back, so, so it's kind of unusual. I love that. Is that pretty practical, I mean, for an everyday use bathroom? You know, it's more of a showpiece, but the only thing you can't do is, is clog the drain and fill it up and rinse something out in the sink. This is wow. our buddy sink, and it's, um, love that. it's got the angle at the front and then it's flat at the bottom. I love the that's trough. I mean, that's obviously enough space for both Suzanne and I in the bathroom yeah. to not have to be cramped with space. We have so many square corners in that bathroom. I'm wondering, is there a way to round this out in any way? Yeah, room? maybe bowing it in the center somehow, okay. and we can come up with a design for that. Now for the small details. Each side of this little board, it's the little board we make for designers, has got a different edge. This is our OG, this is our French edge, this is a braid, this is the Bellagio edge. What was this one here that the, you called? The French the edge. The French edge. Uh -huh. I like that. This is an end profile of it, and it's actually one of my favorite pieces. Very contemporary, clean look. With the angles, I think that would be great. It's going to be a, just a phenomenal look. They've got the trough sink all figured out. Yeah, we're really, really happy with, with the end result. It looks great. It does. It looks fantastic. Yeah, this whole countertop piece just turned out so beautiful, this concrete. It's with the custom trough sink. It's okay. great. It'll, it'll be great for Ben and I to share. And I'm glad we rounded out the inside there because it really, it was so Curved. square and it softened it a little bit. I love this French canter edge. And the faucets coming out of the walls just mm -hmm. looks awesome. And the mirror above the sink looks it, Makes the room look bigger. It just looks great. And all the mirrors and, and all over the bathroom. You can see all angles, angles you don't want to see. <laughs> One of my favorite things about the bathroom was actually the cabinetry and the color with the simple stainless handles on them. Yeah. The wood, stainless steel, and concrete continue into Suzanne's new vanity area. These are triangular drawers so that we made the use of all space that we had. Do you guys like not having the door here in this three-quarter wall? Is that working out? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Because it's a private bath and the wall's angled to the point where we just don't mm -hmm. need it. Let's get to the most important part in the water closet area, and I will recommend this to anyone. Get a urinal if you're a guy. You can still see the TV from the urinal, so I'm not going to miss one snap of football all season. It's perfect. We love the slate that we picked out, the Lucas Brown slate on the floor that we also incorporated into the shower. Yeah, the colors, there's like so many just rich, beautiful colors that tie everything, your wood, the metal, the concrete, and the, even the color of the paint that you chose, this mm -hmm. orange, and the ceiling. I love how we painted this, that you decided to put the paint on the ceiling. Right, and then to add the stainless steel lights, mm -hmm. then incorporates all the other accessories. Oh. The doorless shower design with a high window and glass side panels keeps the flow going and a therapeutic stone floor adds to the spa-like feel. Each one just kind of hits a different spot on your foot and it kind of massages your foot as you're standing there. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> and you can even direct the water on you when you're sitting on the bench. And it's raised so that we can see our mountain view still, to, which we wanted to keep. Glass block windows let in light without losing privacy, and an exterior door provides easy access from the pool to the shower. That brings us to the, this corner. It turned out so awesome. This Yeah, I can't believe that the shower used to be there. 
The concrete's phenomenal, the tub is great. And it also has a great little cubby hole for uh, more storage for towels. I um, love the corrugated front. Well, and the way that it operates, I mean, this is just so cool. I love that. This bathtub is the Mac Daddy of all bathtubs. <laughs> And it has chromotherapy, which is really cool. Cindy, turn that on. Let's check it out. Finally, Cindy opened up the hallway to the bedroom by extending the tile floor and removing the arch doorway. We got rid of the ugly brass. And the wood matches the wood in here. It looks awesome. We love our end result of our bathroom. I know you put a ton of time into the design, and it really paid off. Put our hands together. Using clean lines and warm tones, designer Cindy actually gave Suzanne and Ben the Mac Daddy of all bathrooms. Thanks for joining us on Designers Challenge. We'll see you next time when we put three more designers to the test. I'm Chris Harrison. The thing I'm looking most forward to about this project when it's said and done is coming in, using my urinal while I'm watching sports on TV. That's going to be awesome. Great. We're creating a monster.